food is destructive. This food is your culture. Then the culture is destructive. Boys, I've covered Jussie. I've covered Bubba. And you know I covered this situation. The one that took place at the Smith College. Where this um, you know, lovely young lady decided to completely lie about her interaction with the staff there, really play up the I'm a victim stuff. And due to my response in that video, I had to put it somewhere else because <laughs> I, I go off. And if you're familiar with my content, you know why. This woman is a numerican, right? No offense, you guys. Love you. But when it comes to this country's history, that's not your history. So to now exploit that history, and if you, uh, you have done a follow-up with this woman, you know she's like off getting her degree in racial studies and stuff like that in some fancy pants school. And it's just like uh, the lives that she, you know, really destroyed. It, I, I couldn't help it, boys. I couldn't help it. So I went off. It sounds pretty bad, but there's a link in the description for you to go check out my full um, thoughts on the Smith College situation and this hoax that goes out of its way to exploit the good nature of Americans, right? And there's there are endless people doing it, but there's another side to this coin that I'm going to use the rest of this video to discuss because yeah it's it's not just it's not just these individuals it's the amount of self-hating white people that's increasing so me cuz because of that self-hatred and because this chick hold on right quick Hold on, I, I, I really need to make this point. This chick looks like Seely from the color purple. So because she looks like Seely from the color purple, you got all of these white folks like, oh, we'll give you everything. How could you? How dare? Because they watch the color purple and they're like, oh, no, like she's just automatically a victim. No, 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 no. She looks like Lupita Nyong'o in 12 Years a Slave. And so they're just like, oh, oh my goodness. They, they sat there and thought about that chick throwing that bottle in Lupita Nyong'o's face and was like, no. Oh, we can't do it. We, we got to help this, this, this poor, poor woman out, even though she was lying the entire time. And it, it always infuriates me. But uh, the liars are are not as important as the people who enable them. And, well, what do you think we got right here? So with that being said, Memology, shout out. Let's get into this. If you're white, yes, you are racist, even if you think you're woke. We all benefit from oppression. Pretending you're not racist only makes racism grow. Wow. Wow. This is the most Karen shit I've seen. <laughs> I've seen possibly this week. It's Sunday. So yeah, this is definitely the most Karen shit that I've seen this week. She, she's sitting there talking about how I'll make it. Sweetie, 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 sweetie. This is why... All women really do need a scent stick because when you sit here and call people racist, you're the one that's spreading the racism like peanut butter because they, in a lot of cases, I don't want to say all cases because yeah, there are still people out there who hate people for the, for the sake of whatever color they are. True enough. But for the most part, yeah, there's other reasons to hate people. <laughs> And that the whole color of the skin thing isn't even at the forefront of their mind until you, ma'am, with the nice chesticles, uh, you're the one that bring that brought it up. And you're sitting here singing your little song, just being all of a Karen about it. But real talk, boys, I mean, she's at the wall. She's definitely going through the wall as we speak. But I'll show you why. I'll show you why this is definitely strokeable in a few moments. So let's continue with the video. So any white person that supports BLM, for example, is still a racist, but we've known that. It's all white supremacy in woke world, buddy. That's one way to motivate people to join your cause, or rather not join it. <laughs> You're slick there, Mr. Chavez.
white saviors also claim to hate capitalism. And we've gone over that ridiculous, ridiculous, um, far enough, but there's a, uh, here we go. But here's, here's the fun part. This particular white saver is also a cat lady. Really? You couldn't guess from the little sing song that she did. Bad one at that. So I just had a real, so, uh, I don't know, boys. <laughs> she cat lady. She crazy as all hell. You can see the crazy in her eyes. But I don't know, man. It's just, it's just something that's making me say, hmm, you know. <laughs> like, wife and, I mean, of course not. But if she was to sit here and say, oh, my goodness, I, I really understand the black struggle. So, thusly, I would like to drain your balls. Um, I'm not particularly gonna decline that <laughs> like i'm like yeah uh, you know what uh yeah yeah uh, by all means stroke me strokes for freedom sweetie strokes for freedom <laughs> a shitty moment where i lost my temper i was trying to do something and my cat wouldn't move and i lost my temper on him and i yelled at him for no reason and i know that sounds so dumb but i you said it, sweetie. You said it, not not I. And once again, I mean, okay, yeah, she's like she's hitting a wall, but damn, testicles gigantic. Like, like I kind of want to, I kind of want to see what they look like. I'm not even like, like, oh, oh, I'm the weird one. I'm the, you know what, y'all, and you're judging me for being for being very generous. You know what? Screw y'all. All right, screw y'all. <laughs> this, this is why we ain't boys no more. I'm, I'm messing with you. You know it's love, baby. <laughs> Feel awful, and he's. Hiding from me. Well, you yelled at him. I know. <laughs> I know. I know how I look right now. But why don't you do anything about it? Or, you know, not upload. But thanks for uploading, because seriously, baby want milk. But damn, he doesn't deserve my irritation. Nobody really does. Sometimes we just feel really shitty and we react. But the shitty thing with him being a cat, he doesn't, I don't know if he understands me when I say I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, yo. Boys. Boys, particularly uh, those of the Caucasian persuasion, because I know I know plenty of you guys really fuck with me and with y'all too. Y'all gotta get your women, man. Y'all gotta get your women. If I if I would like to see what her sweater meat look like, I know there's tons of you like to see what her sweater meat. Come on, somebody, somebody, get this woman a scent stick. Somebody, anybody, give this woman a scent stick, okay? <laughs> because. <laughs> Because when she's not getting it, she's sitting there worrying about the feelings of a cat and whether or not the cat understands if she's sorry or not. Jesus Christ, lady. But humans do, so make sure you apologize to people when you treat them badly. Do. Oh my goodness. Uh, my, uh, we going we going to definitely uh wrap this one on up cuz she has she has pretty eyes, you know, like the hair. It's just like uh, like other things like she seems like she's really trying to like to to stave off the wall, but I mean, sweetie, you already got cats and I don't see a wedding ring. So, like if best of luck to you, but those chats could get you could get you a little further like, you know, 10 15 years ago. Either way, guys, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, so also the like, dislike, go ahead do that too. Nobody's scared you sub if you join my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch you like are the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications get something from teespring check me out on patreon as well links in the description actually go into the description box and damn damage and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments seriously this is uh this is pretty damn funny <laughs> she's a white savior and 
I think this ties perfectly with the Smith College situation because this is the it's, it's, it's all this overly emotional, super feminist bullshit that really gave that woman. Um, I can't even pronounce I pronounce that woman's name. Uh, the the ability to really just screw other screw over other people who were absolutely nothing but nice and kind to her, despite the fact that she was completely in the wrong. It pissed me off. You'll hear about it if you check that link in the description. And you know, as far as like this lady goes like yo somebody needs to pipe this chick down like yesterday <laughs> but you may feel differently that's what my comment section is for until the next one i will pimp slap you this feels really uh racist jd oh, why can't i be a vampire because it's my movie now let's take it from the top and i'm not gonna ask you again blacker blacker yes please blacker oh!